Matty, congratulations on signing a new deal with the club. How happy are you to commit your immediate future to the football club? Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, since the gaffer's come in, I've, he's shown a lot of confidence in me and I, I'm glad to get signed up. Yeah. You started here at under nines and progressed through the academy system. Is this just the next step in your whole City career? Yeah, I feel like I'm as close as I ever have been to the first team squad and um, just working hard every day at Cottingham, trying to work my way into the team. Well, last season you spent time out on loan at Gateshead, made 37 appearances and won the National League North title. How good was that loan spell for you? Yeah, it was about as good as it can get for a loan, loan move, really. Um, just winning games consistently helps when you're living away from home, things like that. That was class. You've mentioned that you've spent the majority of the season training with the first team at Cottingham. What's that experience been like for you? Yeah, I've, over the last three, four years, I've been sort of in and out with the 21s and with the first team training-wise. It's nice to just get that stability and training with them consistently, so I feel like it's helped me a lot. What's the defenders unit been like for you in the sense of working with people like Cyrus Christie, Jacob Greaves, who play in your position? Yeah, there's a lot of experienced lads and Greaves has got a lot of uh, games himself now already and he's elder, he's played a lot of games and they're all really experienced so it's a lot, you can learn a lot from him. What's uh, Liam Rossini been like for you? As I said from the day he came in we had an in-house game and I did, I did really well and he's just shown, shown a lot of faith in me since then um, and he's given me the belief to really improve my game and just be confident. As a player, is it nice to have a coach who played in your position as well? Has he been giving you like special tips almost? Yeah, I think that, that definitely does help because I've had Andy Dawson with the 21s as well and now he's obviously with the first team. So I've got Dawson left back, uh, the gaffer right back. So it is good to have full backs as coaches, definitely. And obviously I think there was a clip away in Turkey where he was showing like talking to you and saying how, how things were learning you know how did you enjoy that trip out with the with the first team yeah I really enjoyed that trip it was just so everything was closed in and you just learned so much within the four or five training sessions we had it was just so focused you have mentioned about the 21s you've captained them a lot this season have you enjoyed that role of, of being a captain yeah, I, I do enjoy playing for the 21s. I've played a lot of games at centre-back and being an older one now, I've, I've had to become more of a leader than maybe I would have been a few years ago. So I think having to be a leader and taking responsibility on the pitch has helped when I go back to training, taking things in that I've learned from that. And obviously they're trying to push for the playoffs. so is that one of your targets for, for this season? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, If I'm playing, going to continue playing for the 21s, then it has to be to win as many games and if that means we end up in the playoffs then happy days. For you, what's your targets now that you've signed this deal, heading not only for this season but for the next few seasons? Um, well, uh, for the end of this season I want to be I want to be challenging to try and get a few appearances hopefully and keep working hard to try and make that happen but if, if that isn't the case then come in for pre-season and just get straight back at it and try and convince the gaffer that I'm, I can do what needs to be done.